901 hash, you have the freedom to do more. Get a loan, transfer money from Access Bank to any bank, buy airtime on all mobile networks, check your account balance, open a new account, inquire about your BVN, change your PIN, and generate your bank statements. Star 901 hash is convenient, simple to use, requires no data, and can be done on the go. Just dial star 901 hash to get started. Access more than banking. Welcome back. Please join me in welcoming Aruna Kibira. He is the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Global View Capital uh, Limited. Aruna, you are welcome. Good evening. You are looking very, very attractive. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you have started eating uh, some of the proceeds of particularly FBNH, the kind of growth we saw in it. <laughs> last I, think, week. I think the market is becoming good. Ah. I think, uh, you know, we said that uh, you know a broker from the song he sings when he's coming back home. When the market is, is good, he will sing it by me. But by the time he's singing, I'm not giving up. I'm not that. You know, that's something that's happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> Very much uh, like when we were in the primary school back in days, that when you have good reports, you are very happy you show it, but when you have very bad or poor result, you will hide your result. It will be hibernating. And so when they ask you where is your report, you say, my mom will pass it and I'll go to card <laughs> All right, Aruna, you are welcome. Thank you. Like I did say, it's going to be a session between Aruna and me. All right, let's take off Aruna. Lafarge, Africa. Uh, they say, according to the report at the market arena, they uh, are considering interim dividend to shareholders. According to the report, meeting of the board of directors of the company has been scheduled to hold on Wednesday, 27th October 2021. The meeting is to consider the third quarter financial results of the company for the quarter ended 30th of September 2021. Payment of interim dividend may also be considered at the meeting. Now, Aruna, I put it to you. What is the possibility in the third quarter results to be considered? Of course, we are still going to be talking about it in the course of this presentation. Maybe, maybe before you know, ahead. one of the things I would just want to first of all notice is a uh, number of uh, uh, issuers going coming to pay interim dividend. I think it's a good development in the market. Uh, but when we, when we are looking at uh, uh, Lafarge, Wapco, what you can just sit there where I know that what they are talking about can actually be achieved is that you know that uh, close period is from uh, 1st of October and it's going to lapse on 24 hours after the release of the result and uh, the, 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 there's a growth of 21 percent of, of the any per share from quarter one to quarter two one around 45 cobo to one around 76 cobo that is about 21 percent and if that is constant, there's every possibility that quarter three they will be able to do like two naira twelve cobo. And it is a company that have been they pay one naira two thousand and nineteen, they pay one naira two thousand and nineteen. In fact, they pay one naira over a very long time. And if after, after out of the two naira twelve cobo, if it is uh, if they are able to achieve it, uh, they are paying fifty cobo, they still come back and pay one naira at final. I think they have broken a record, and uh, I'm not sure that they may likely stop at pay fifty cobo out of two naira twelve. To at least maybe 60 cobo, 70 cobo. I think the market will. will uh, uh, I, I don't know it. what is the attraction in interim dividend. Couldn't we just uh, hold on until at the end the audit report is released and we get our dividend? No, you see, we, we have different type of investors in the market, uh, especially those that are pensioners. What they depend on is uh, a dividend. So wherever that is available, they go and take it. And it is even believed now that anybody have taken position in WAPCO as we speak uh, when the interim dividend is declared. Even this news of uh, a, a probable interim dividend might actually be pushing it even beyond the 30 cobo. Oh, sorry, I, I'm not, I don't know how much they are going to pay beyond the interim dividend that they may likely pay. Uh, so they will go and take it and then move their resources to wherever they can get another dividend. And from what I'm seeing here uh, on the indicators, out of about 12 trading sessions, WAPCO really has uh, grown in price at least in about nine sessions, uh, plus or minus. And it is currently heading towards uh, the topmost uh, price level before it begins to um, 
adjust down a little bit. But what will your uh, uh, suggestion or advice be to investors now? Should they invest more? Should they just hold on? Because the price really has grown so well uh, to 23 naira 35 kobo as of last week. Friday. But this is stock that I've done 34 naira before. So at least they received the upper potential between 23 naira and 34 naira. I believe that what I should advise is take position. Uh, if, you t if, if it is possible that they pay iterate dividend and their final is just around the corner. Like I said, if they pay like 50 kobo, I come back and pay another one naira. Then they have broken a record. All right, we go to Adova. This company, AP, AP, from African Petroleum to 40 Oil and from 40 Oil back to AP. But not African Petroleum now, but Adova. PLC. All right. According to the reports at the market arena, Adova PLC plans to raise 22 billion naira in bond. They also plan to raise a total of 60 billion naira in bond. The bond is subdivided into tranche A and tranche B offerings, which with maturity periods of seven and ten years respectively. From AP to FO and back to AP, like I said, how will you describe performance of Adova since? They took over from 40 oil. Yeah, actually, uh, Dover has uh, not done like uh, 40 oil. Uh, maybe one because of, uh, you know, what we normally talk about uh, fundamentals. It has to do with who is at the forefront, who is running the organization. And I believe that by the time uh, FO pulled out and it now became Madova, we have not seen that performance. All right. Adobe. Now, Aruna, with this, uh, they are coming to raise 60 billion in all. The first tranche now, 22 billion naira. Do you think the management has got the capacity to manage this kind of funds? From the news that they made available outside, I, I think uh, they will need it. Like we have always said, they want to increase their capacity. Uh, like what they said, they have 450 retail outlets. They have their a uh, Nigeria leading provider of additional fuel. Uh, they manufacture and distribute one range of quality lubricant. They are the sole authorized distributor of Tezaco that we all, all, all know. And they even come and say that they have a subsidiary that is involved in haulage and uh, transportation. I believe that they actually need the money to increase their capacity. But they should have shown up their capacity uh, with their results ever since they took over uh, from uh, uh, 40 hours. You know, one of the things that can create results is liquidity working capital chances are that the liquid capital is not uh, the working capital is not there to 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 so lap we, on we, that we wait to see how this plays out in months uh, to come ngx group to list on the ngx they are coming to list with themselves a total of one billion nine hundred and sixty four uh, million one hundred and fifty five thousand nine hundred and eighteen shares are expected to be admitted to trading and the shares will trade under the ticker ngx group to list by introduction why first why did they go first to the N nsd before now coming to the market you know you know uh, uh nigeria stock catcher was uh, uh, limited by guarantee mm -hmm. so when it when they now uh, uh, you know uh, giving the shares to the members of the SHA, like the, the stockbrokers and others, then it became a limited company. As at that time, it could not have been listed. All, and they knew that a number of uh, uh, trading license holders at that time, uh, maybe they would want to have access to liquidity. So that was why they went and listed it on uh, uh, Nazi. I know Nazi is uh, uh, where, limi uh, where shares in private companies can list their shares for sale. So as at that time, it was a private company. All right. Uh, so, so, but, but, but from what I can say on the NASD was that the price after listing actually came down drastically. All right. Is there going to be any improvement now that they are coming to the main market? Yes, I suppose so. It was listed at 25 naira. It got to all time high of 13 naira 26 kobo and came down to all time low of 12 naira 98 kobo. But this uh, announcement. As at uh, uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday, the stock was not available. Most of this, the unit that you saw were just closed because on Friday was the last trading day. I believe by the time it is brought to the NGX, it won its great liquidity. Uh, you know what happened in OTCs uh, over the counter. Uh, most of them were negotiated, but now you, know, you can actually trade it like trade or that stock. I believe there will be more price discovery. Uh, in NGX than it was Right, we wish uh, uh, the Nigerian Exchange Group uh, success. We wish them good luck as they come to trade and begin to trade 
in the uh, main market. We come to the Nigerian economy now. The president, uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, presents 16.39 trillion naira. 2022 budget to the National Assembly, and according to him, the federal government will be borrowing uh, to a total of 6.258 trillion naira to finance a deficit budget. The appropriation bill tagged a budget of economic growth and sustainability. The government currently owes 35.465 trillion naira. This will now increase to well over. 41 trillion naira. If we just depend on the revenues that we get, even though our revenues have increased, the operational expenditure of government, including salaries and other overheads, is barely covered or swallowed up by the revenue. That is what the finance minister actually said. Are we safe in this country? You see, by this uh, borrowing, it, our debt will increase to 51.85 trillion which is about 31.6 percent increase like is frightful mm. uh, because it has got it to a level that we call frightful the question is that you borrow when are we going to pay except if maybe at the end of the day uh, that we can go for debt forgiveness like we did previously if they will agree uh, you can discover that for every budget year uh, we, we borrow to finance the deficit the question is when are we going to pay back are we not mortgaging the life of our yet unborn? Mm. It's frightful. What would be your suggestion? <laughs> In fact, I don't have any suggestion. You are an economist. I don't have any suggestion. So the question, an is, don't have the, the you question is, the question is, like what they said, that the revenue that is coming is not enough to even uh, take care of the recurrent expenditure. So that is why it is very frightful. We pray for Nigeria. We will survive. I will go on a short break. We will return. We'll be looking at the market majorly. Don't change this channel. First Money is Nigeria's biggest and most preferred agent banking network. Thanks to First Money, millions of people are living their dreams. Meet some First Money agents who are driving this. First Money is the best POS that we use in my area. I started with one container beside me. This is my main branch. I have up to seven branches. With first money, I've been able to employ six staffs, which five are female. So I see first money as a business to employ and also to empower ladies. Through first money, over one million people across Nigeria have their financial services needs met daily. In all the accessible local government areas, you are bound to find first money agents. With first money, we're bringing financial inclusion and the many benefits that come with it. You first, first bank.